So if you just stumbled upon this video and want to know what's going on, let's say you have an asset. Here's your piece of land right here. You're going to list this piece of land online for $50 down, $50 a month for 48 months. Someone's going to reach out to you and say, I want to buy that property on seller financing terms. You say, fantastic. So they send you $100 right off the bat. That's their down payment plus, plus their first payment. Upon receiving that, you're going to fill out a contract and you're going to email it over to them. They're going to sign, sign, sign and send it back to you. Great. We are in a contract and you are paying me monthly for this property. And when it's paid off, I'm going to deed this property to you. Month one goes good. Month two goes good. Let's say we get all the way up to month six and then crickets. They stop responding. So in my contract, I have a clause in there that says, if you ghost me, it doesn't say ghost me, but you know what I'm saying. If you ghost me for 90 days, I'm going to resell the property. So let's say after month six, you stop paying me. We try to connect. Hey, everything good. You want to get back on track? Da, da, da. The next month, nothing. Next month, nothing. Following month, we're 90 days out at this point. You really don't want this property anymore. So at that point, I'm going to relist the property. So when someone stops paying you on a deal, as long as it's written into your contract that we're doing X, Y, and Z after this many days, it's okay. That's how you handle a non-paying buyer. Now you may be saying, well, how often does this happen? It actually happens really often, except for the window in between the whole 2020 to 2022 when god awful amounts of stimulus money hit everybody's bank account. Most people paid off all their deals because there was so much stimulus money. People had a lot of cash on hand, so they would go full term or they would do early payoffs. Prior to that, though, I would say there would be about a 50% default rate on all land deals. Meaning, out of every 10 deals, five of them would always come back to you. And then you'd resell them again and resell them again and resell them again until people eventually went full term and you said, you know what, I'm just done with these properties over here. I've done sold them so many times over. Let's just fire sell it real quick, get it off the list and bring in some fresh inventory because sometimes it's fun to do that as well. And people also ask me, they say, well, why would you do that? There's really no reason to do that. You could keep cycling it through forever if you want to. Sometimes I just get tired of looking at the same old deals though. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just clear the books off with these. Let's go after some fresh inventory, spice things up and start some new marketing. So I know I kind of went all over the place there, but that's how I get down.